Today we'll discuss about how to have our slicer to select the latest date for our reporting in Power BI. Here we have a typical Power BI report. So we have a slicer that able to slice our report based on our month. So we would like to have the default selection to be always the latest month in this reporting. Because sometimes you may have many pages of various information where you might want to have the latest reporting year or date so how are you going to make the default of your slicer to select the latest date will be today's discussion first we need to do is we go to look at how our data looks like for this case is is in table one so here we can see we have january february march april and may so let us say if the subsequent month information came in, we would like the slicer to select the latest month. So let us input some arbitrary information and then save it. So let us say if we refresh the data, table one, the June data came in, so it will select the latest month. And then our slicer over here, You have the latest month, which is June, and then we have January to May. So how are we going to select, make a default selection based on the latest month? Will be today's discussion. We we'll do it on a new table over here, training. So first, you need to go into edit query. So here we have the month number. So we will make the latest month. This is the largest number over here as the latest month. So what we're going to do is we will go add column, custom column. Let's call it one selection. Here we will put an if case. If our month number is the largest, so you we can use things that and then our table the previous table name is change type based on our query and then which column which is our month number so it if if it is the largest number it will return the latest latest Otherwise, it will return the month. Oops. So from January to May, June, we have the latest for our June month. So we just need to go apply. So we are doing in a new page over here. So we just need to click in the slicer or this page training. We will select the month selection in the field and then we will have selection controls single for our selection we will sort by the month number so we we'll generate to the latest and then we will use a drop down list so this is our reporting one so if we would like to want to know which month is it the easiest way is to use a card so we can put a card over here let's say if you create a measurement so you will select if our selected values for our training month selection is equal to latest 
then we will search simply return the month so our selected value and then we will return our month otherwise we just return a blank space and then we will be called latest just need to drag the field for the card value so when you select any other month it doesn't appear when you select latest it will come came up June so we just need to turn off the background category turn off data label um, text size it so so we just move this over let's change it over here 25 and then oops So now everything is done over here. So you can have January. It appears only January when you select latest. At least you know the money is over here. So let's say if subsequent month January, June, July. Let's say we have July information. Let's give it a random number. So let's say the subsequent month came in, you automatically select the latest month. So we will have our slices always selected, selecting the latest month.